Hello and welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and this is the Math Learning Center app GeoBoards and I'm going to utilize it uh, in, the, in the, I guess, the usage of a GeoBoard to help explore the properties of polygons or just show how you can explore the properties of polygons uh, with your uh, GeoBoard. And uh, one of the things that you can do early on is you can have students make different shapes uh, you can have them make different figures and you want to you want to say things like can you make a figure and try not to say like the definition of a polygon like with space inside you just want to say using one rubber band please make any figure you would like and using figures allows some students to make shapes that do have space inside of them but then also to make shapes that kind of overlap or one side overlaps another and what you can do and Marilyn Burns utilizes this in her explanation of usage of the uh, of the geo board to where you group the students you grab the geo boards that have students with um, uh, shapes that have space inside versus ones that have space with lines overlapping and then you would say to the students these shapes are polygons and then these shapes are not polygons and in that exploration students can then uh, you know say oh well I have uh, you know the ones on the left are polygons because and they have space inside and they don't have any overlaps and the ones on the right are not polygons because they have overlaps and then you get to the definition of polygon which is you know a simple enclosed figure that has space inside uh, made up of line segments that intersect only at their endpoints. Whatever your definition or official definition is, you can have students discover that definition. Another thing that is imperative or, or helpful, if you're utilizing technology like this, there are some technology that allows multiple iPads to be displayed on the uh, overhead projector. And if that's the case, you can tell students as you see one, will you please mirror your image onto the, onto the computer? And, and then you can have multiple screenshots of iPads that are out there and they can see quickly what's, you know, you, you tell them, all right, these are our polygons, these are not, and so you tell me why these are polygons, why they're not. And so the technology can help really make the lesson dynamic and, and engaging. And, uh, but the idea is you first, you can, you can help students understand and discover the definition of what a polygon is. And once you do that, you can then start exploring properties of certain polygons. Polygons that have certain number of sides are going to have certain definitions or we're going to call those polygons certain things. Uh, another thing I like to do is you can, you can give them a definition and have them build it. You can have them build something and then they discover the definition. Uh, you can give them properties and then they discover what the name is of that shape they created. And one real popular one that Marilyn Burns kind of utilizes is, you know, create a shape that has exactly one set of parallel sides. And exactly one set of parallel sides, uh, uh, you could say create a, a four-sided, a quadrilateral that has exactly one set of parallel sides. And that's by definition the definition of a trapezoid. Oftentimes when we see trapezoid, we think of this shape right here, which um, at one point in time was part of the original Pizza Hut symbol. And, and now it's all fancy and, and, and on angles and things like that. But, but this is the isosceles trapezoid is what is typically seen as what, what a trapezoid is. And when people say this is a trapezoid, but they oftentimes say that's not a trapezoid. But when you tell them to create a four-sided figure that has exactly one set of parallel sides, then you're going to get students creating this shape. You're going to get students creating this shape. You're going to get students creating that shape. And these are all trapezoids. These are all four-sided figures that have exactly one set of parallel sides. And you put these up on a board or up on the, um, you know, the whiteboard with the geo boards that they created by hand or you screenshot all of the kids or you go around and take pictures and put them up on the board and they start seeing this and they say, <clears throat> all right, now this is a trapezoid. And now they connect the word trapezoid with the properties as opposed to the word trapezoid to this isosceles trapezoid that you oftentimes draw or books often use. So building and allowing students to see properties first and build shapes based off of properties or build shapes and then you define or discover what the properties are of those specific shapes is very important. It's very imperative in the teaching of mathematics. 
and geoboards and the usage of those geoboards is what is important. Uh, and technology like this is helpful in doing that. So uh, I, I thank you for watching. I am Professor Lamb, and this is PyPad Mathematics.